they don't, um, what's it called? Insane Trilogy reignite it, reignite it, mm. where they just build it for the ground up. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that. Perfect. Oh, I've done that. Oh, I missed a cookie. Oh, <laughs> I think that loader screen is a pretty good little cutaway if you want to hold off on that in editing. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll, we'll ignore that. Nothing happened. It's fine. Yeah. Not like somebody here needs to keep a mouth shut or anything. Isn't that right, Bella? <laughs> oh yeah, I think these are the the wise monkeys. Oh no, that's Uncle Bobo. Oh. Older brother of <laughs> okay. Samuel and Wookie. Are they Samuel Wookie? Ricky Bobo, second younger brother what? of Uncle Bobo. What about Samuel? Samuel Bobo, first younger brother oh. of Uncle Bobo. Who's on Bobo? <laughs> Their alert is so high. <laughs> that's why they. That's why I walked right here and they immediately went out. Like, watch. You have to run them, even though I'm crouching. You have to chase them down, or you just have to just, like smack them. They're gonna hit that, and it's gonna set off traps. Okay, you need to chase them now. Mm -hmm. But with traps. Can I hit this? Yeah. I don't think it'll hit them. I feel like but it's completely it's random. It is. Yeah. I can only imagine what an actual gong sounds like in person. We, we used to have one in our band room. No one was Jeez. ever allowed to hit it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I believe that. <laughs> I remember, I think they, someone had said the story of how someone had hit the gong because they thought both the band teachers were out. And one of them just came flying down the hallway. I was like, who, who hit the gong? I mean, yeah. <laughs> but then, oh, oh man, I'm gonna get away with this. No one will realize I fucking hit the gong. <laughs> <laughs> you ever go to like the PA system and try to sneak a fucking PA message? No one will catch you. No one would ever know. No one will know. Ah, come on, Jeez. Spike. I walk through here. So the problem with catching oh, every single monkey enough. comes from uh, these later levels, as you saw. I think I have to catch nine, but there was like mm -hmm. it's like nine of twelve. So there's actually a few. There's more you have to. Yeah. Quite a bit more actually. Mm. Wacky Chan, hello Hollywood, and goodbye. Oh my god. These silly I'm monkeys. Not make it. Well, <laughs> is that is that that's a death, right? Yeah. Well, that's good. I thought that was going to kill me. <laughs> Almost. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, button. Yeah. On oh, moving platform. The whole man. No. Yeah. There it goes. <laughs> so now, if I when I go back over there, I'll uh... yeah. Going back to the old conversation because I got bored. Uh, I do kind of want to go back some card games just for the fun of it. Check out some card stuff. Cause I know Yu-Gi-Oh's look. Wolves Rise play wise beyond me, but maybe a pack or two just for the fun of it. Yeah, I I because I just to see what they've that. done with it. I know, Pokemon, um, I mean, I'd be down for it, but I mean, I don't know if I'm going to get anytime soon. I know, um... Then I want specific Pokemon, probably. The easiest way, I think, to get into Pokemon right now is the uh, the mobile app, because it's just the it's just the web hmm. version on your phone, which is what they should have did with the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, but Duel Links is this weird, fucked-up amalgamation of it. Hmm. Yeah, like, I don't know. You have... Instead of the five card zone, you only have the four spell cards work differently, if I remember correctly. I think certain traps don't exist they, because they work differently. Did they change the rules? For duel links, yeah, the rules are different. Oh, whoa. Like, okay. 
it's like an entirely separate game. That's very odd to do that. And then there's this what new point thing. to do that? There's this new thing going on now with the newest season, um, called Speed Duels. And there's actual Speed Duel packs getting released over here. Hmm. I feel like that's what 5D is supposed to be, by the sound of it. By the Speed Duels. That's what they called them, but... I wonder if that's when that started. They wanted to introduce new rules, but didn't really want to change the actual game. I think that is when that started, because that's when the Synchros mm. came in, and then they started talking more about speed... Uh... The chain speed. chaining and the speed cards and stuff. Yeah, because I remember um, there's the the DS game that was in five Ds, that occasionally would have a yeah that you occasionally would have duels on the bikes, uh, and that had special uh, rules on top of that, like a lot of the cost. Like there were specific cards that were specifically two speed duels, and the cost of the cards were your speed gauge, which built uh, built up over time. Where Basically, like a mono system. Because I remember though the five D um, five D game on the Wii that I think was that exact thing. Maybe not the exact same mm. game, but that were those any good? I never touched them because five D was Oof. just kind of enemy. Yeah, I hear it's good, but like I just I just can't. It's it. I remember watching the anime. It's been a long while since I've watched it. I don't even know if I watched it in order, but let's just say I, I probably did. Uh -huh. It's definitely enjoyable enough. Like it's, so. it goes off the wall to wacky later on in the story stuff. Oh yeah, I've seen. Um, but I mean the Japanese stuff is pretty solid. Like it's still good. Um, and they do go crazy with the story, but it's kind of a fun crazy, so it's nothing really bad. And although yes, the absolute nonsense they pull off with their cards sometimes, uh, just because you know, protagonist uh, armor and whatnot, the protagonist of fate. It's fun to watch, but ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure, I, I I say, it, it starts going to time nonsense in the end as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I figured, because I, yeah. I never watched it, but I've always, like, popped in for episodes and stuff. And I remember when they did the Earthbound Immortal stuff, that's when things were getting weird and magic -y and then... Yeah, no, that... I saw that one episode part... that I think had to do with time travel, but... Yeah, that really... part with the, the Earthbound Immortals more or less coalesce into them fighting a person fusing themselves with a god, I believe. Or it was a god, I don't remember either way. Yeah. On top of the... On top of the old writings... What is it? Egypt? Desert? I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, the writings in this, the ground. Okay. Um, as they ride around on a floating light version of that in dueling, that's stupid. Uh, this, yeah, <laughs> it's silly. Like it was it was weird fun, but they do build it strange, but they actually build it up in a actually enjoyable way. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, they push into uh, the second arc, which I'm pretty sure is the the time stuff. Cause I know they went hard with the time travel shit in uh, the movie. That was a pretty decent movie. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it, but I feel like I know of it a bit more. It wasn't a bad movie. It was nice. It was uh. Mm. Ah, shit. Well. Wow. Well, no, that's. <laughs> I was trying <laughs> just to kind see of where my footing was, so I would do that. To be fair, you, you did just thing. leap. You just kind of jumped and went for yeah. it, hoping for the best. You know, leaps <laughs> of faith, man. Sometimes you gotta do them. <laughs> we tried. Not sure if it's worth anything, though. That's Spectre coin. That's true. You know what? It doesn't matter at that point. You got it. You got the coin. Who cares? I did not get the coin, actually. Well, you do a failure. How dare you? I should just do that from the beginning. I don't understand why I don't do that. I used to do that all the time, because I loved using the flyer. Hmm. There we go. You got old. I got old and reckless. <laughs> I do a lot more risky shit than I used to do when I was younger. <laughs> Hard to. Oh, I think there's a platforming That's... thing here. Okay. Oh, you gotta push it out something. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds is strangely enjoyable watch. It's still silly and nonsense, and it goes off the walls. Oh, I bet. Of the time. But it's a pretty fun 
later, after they've gone through and he's got his crew together. I'm trying to remember what it was. I think it's the initial arc with their found. And then the second one, which I think is like the tournament or something like that. Uh huh. And then there's the time evil doers. And I'm pretty sure that's. I could be wrong. It's been a long time. Um. But it's a funny one. The Tubi app I've been using a lot of has all of the Yu-Gi-Oh seasons on them. Even even the mm. dub of Arc V that I didn't know came out. <laughs> um. So I've been thinking of trying to do that, but I think I might just go through them in Japanese. Like. I would say probably. I enjoyed that. And the voice acting is solid too. Because I've never I don't seen remember the much original the in uh Japanese. Mm hmm. Look it's at... something about the Japanese uh, voices that always that seemed really solid with it. I don't know much about the dub either. So I can't say if it was bad or good, but I always felt like the Japanese ones were solid enough. The uh, the way the dub is is kind of like how they did Sailor Moon, where they changed quite a bit. They were a lot more um... faithful than Sailor Moon was. So it's not like an entirely separate. It's not like an entirely different entity. Mm. But they, it, aside from the, you know, editing out of the guns and the, the Shadow Realm instead of death, they do change some stuff, <laughs> but I think the voice acting is what does it for me. Because yeah. I've seen, I actually started a little while back, I need to go back to it, of watching the original in, oh, in uh, Japanese. Original uh, Yu-Gi-Oh itself? Yeah. And... Mm. Joey without his Brooklyn accent is such a foreign concept <laughs> to me. Like I know it's a it's the butt of the joke and it's the meme and ha ha it's stupid, but like mm. it is a defining thing for him. To me. <laughs> is he just now just an idiot? Yeah. <laughs> He's just a a regular old idiot. Well. And then Pegasus was one of the the big ones. He has that generic, um, ex eccentric rich man, uh, woo -hoo 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 uh, Japanese voice that you hear every single one of them have. Yeah. Oh, right, fall down. That's the same. But he just, he has so much more life in the dub. And that's just because his voice actor is amazing. <laughs> yeah. I know some of them just really went into it too. It's disappointing in that regard that it's like one character's are gray and then others are terrible. And then, I mean, Settle Cab is give or take for me, but his his English voice actor is really good too. It's been a while, but I feel like he originally wasn't great, but later on in the series, oh yeah, no, he, he got way really better. Solid. When he found when him and Dan Green found their voices, they got way better. Mm -hmm. One series that I, I both hate and want to at the same time is GX. Because I know I know the memes of GX to an extent, but I actually don't know. Apparently it's solid enough. It was pretty fun, but I don't know right. much about it. It got weird. Oh, yeah. Hell. But like weird, weird. Like, okay, so... Of course, it's got the whole academy vibe and everything, and it's like, oh, yeah, hey. Yeah, it started out that way pretty normal. And then... The upstart kid who's really good. Yeah, he's in the city, uh, you don't deserve a good meal home dorm thing. Yeah, because he's... Because this is supposed to be Kaiba's elite of the elite academy. But he just kind of yeah, got but... his way in, and despite being a good duelist, no one takes him seriously kind of thing. Yeah. But then I guess at some point ratings were a little weird because they wanted to see the original stuff. So they started introducing weird characters showing up with Millennium Items saying they're going to start doing Shadow Duels. And none of them mm. know what that means because it's not a thing here. But they still start working that in a little bit. Can I destroy this? What is this? Okay. Dude. It's just there. I guess it's just here. Huh. But yeah, and... I feel like that was maybe a monkey there or something, but there was no monkey, was there? Not that I saw. Oh, you know what? 
There's a mm -hmm. specific item I get later I think I need to deal with. with ah, it. okay. Um, where the fuck are those things? Ah, whatever. And they start slowly working their way into these weird shadow duels. And to give Jaden his uniqueness, instead of him having uh, an entity that he speaks to in, like in, a, in an item or something, mm -hmm. he is known at what are they? What the fuck title do they call him? They call him like the Spirit Caller or something because he can actually talk to the spirits of the cards. Yeah, well, I remember that was a thing later on. We actually could see all the different spirits of the cards okay. and whatnot. It was a. So that works its way into. A story element later where the card you bell shows up and apparently among his hero cards which he remember he talks about having as a child he had the bell card as a child as well so mm -hmm. king his feet are clipping to a Iron. fucking chair <laughs> they just they had to put him somewhere on a like a sitting position but they didn't really they didn't really put him at the edge where he would have been fine with it. Because this with was supposed to be, of... um, I don't know if he caught the objective, but this was Capture Spectre. So he's mm -hmm. a decoy. <laughs> Can I creep past all of this? No. Now you but, got him um, in the end, right? Yeah. So I gotta do something. Oh, there we go. And with you, Bell. Um, I guess at some point he got rid of the card for some reason that I don't fully understand. And that becomes his spirit hmm. on the same vein, in the same vein that, uh, the Pharaoh was to Yugi. Like the other personality kind of thing, or? Not another personality, the, uh... it, he so just ghost there. Yugi. Yeah. Oh, okay. But... It's got cool stuff in it. They go to the shadow, the literal mm. shadow realm at some point. It's an actual thing. Uh huh. Oh. They keep. I mean, I know, <laughs> I know the dub was more of just it's they die, but. I don't know it's if that's what they called it in the Japanese version, but they go to a yeah, realm of darkness. Yeah, I mean, The idea of always was that you just kind of killed them or something. Yeah. You just had to say something. But in in in, in GX, they go to like an actual realm of darkness. And they talk huh. about how um, people that stay there too long, or if you lose a duel to the denizens of it, you lose your soul, or you <laughs> lose your uh, your ability to see the light, or some stupid shit. Oh my god. And Jaden, our protagonist, who never loses a duel ever, ever, except that one time he actually lost a duel, and it was kind of shocking for everybody. He, um, <laughs> he never loses again. a duel in there. No. Oh. And in doing so, oh, he like cons he gets like consumed by rage, and that's when the evil heroes start popping up because he fucking uses an evil version of his death. <laughs> it's stupid. Oh yeah, he was an introduction to the hero cards, huh? Uh huh. Yeah. And it's because now. he was evil for a time. He was like a dark God. lord or something because he was stronger than everything else in there. <laughs> it was stupid. He got weird armor and shit. He actually is wild. GX was wild, dude. It went from <laughs> high school hijinks to creepy rare hunters to a cult to the Shadow huh. Realm to weird world traveling fourth season that America never got that ends with an, an ambiguous ending duel between Jaden and Yugi. Huh. Yeah, from what I Be remember fair. hearing, the last the last couple actual episodes of GX is Jaden and Yuki having a proper duel, but it it cuts to credits before the final play is done. As in, uh, who won kind of thing, or uh -huh. like, oh. if I remember correctly, they're like neck and neck, but because they couldn't give you a definitive answer, uh. they cut to, uh, they cut the credits. Why was Jaden the one that became, you know, the immense one? I know all the other duelists in general series, except for, I think, uh, the newer one, Ark, uh, had them pretty much incredibly far more skilled than anyone else in their peer rank. Uh, Usually. Ark... 
So Yugi cheated technically, but I mean Yugi cheated. Because he had Yami and really nonsense. Good. I honestly don't remember where I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna be completely honest. Jaden technically was also really good. But I also know he had you know, cards that didn't exist or something like that, I think. No, his hero deck was just really good. Okay. That's all it was. Hero monsters in general are just fucking busted. <laughs> but his hero deck was just really good, and he was able to think yeah. on his feet, which is something that a lot of them couldn't do properly. That's what his yeah. gimmick was. I think the only thing I know about RB is that the protagonist lost a bunch. The protagonist wasn't terrible. He just wasn't good, because the gimmick mm. of Arc V was that everyone specializes and no one really goes out of their comfort zone without a teacher hmm. so like there are people that don't really use fusion cards because they never had someone show them how to use fusion cards there's like a whole school dedicated to synchro monsters there's a whole school dedicated to exceed monsters that kind of thing hmm. there's like classes for this and stuff 